Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been, actually I, I haven't even looked to see what my last um, upload video was, um, where I was at in terms of the post-op process and yeah, I haven't even looked to see what I last said, but um, I had a couple of messages in the last week asking me to give an update. So I thought, why not jump in and do that? Um, so you may tell from the background of this video, I'm not at home. I'm a hosp in a hospital at the moment. Um, I've been here since uh, the day before New Year's Eve. So the 30th of um, December last year, I've been in hospital. Um, I had quite a significant um, mental health breakdown. Um, so thought it best that I get admitted into hospital and get some really intensive care and treatment um, for that. So it's, um, yeah, coming up, well, it's been a month, hasn't it, <laughs> that I've been in hospital. Anyway, so um, I had been doing really well with um, the weight loss. I hit a bit of a bit of a snag there somewhere along the line and um, started comfort eating again and um, I think the lowest weight that I got down to was around 95 kilos from memory um, I'm back up to 99.5 kilos which is 219 pounds um, I look at totally my own doing. Um, I've put on that weight in the last month since I've been in the hospital and comfort eating um, and not getting much exercise because I'm, you know, it's not, yeah, with COVID and everything, um, they're not allowing us to have leave to go for walks and stuff. So we have to do all of the the planned activities planned exercise and group exercise, which for the first, you know, three three weeks of my admission, I was keeping to myself a lot and didn't really want to go um, on group walks. So I've, yeah, I've put on um, four kilos or roughly nine pounds, I think that is. Um, just, yeah, just from eating the wrong things. Um, I, I got my husband, Matt, to drop a whole bunch of um, naughty food off at the hospital for me, like chips and crisps. I should I don't know what you call them in different countries, but um, potato chips and um, chocolates and, yeah, all sorts of naughty stuff because um, I figured, you know, why not? But, um, yeah, so... Um, I am feeling a lot better mental health wise. Um, I've had, I'm actually having um, ECT or electric, electric convulsive therapy treatment. Um, it's the first time I've ever done it and I'm up to eight sessions now and I really think I can feel a difference um, in, in how I'm feeling in my mood and yeah, so I'll probably be in hospital for another week and a half maybe um finish off the ect treatment um then yeah transition back home spend a few weeks just getting back into the routine of life um before i head back to work and um hopefully get renewed focus on my health and exercise and what I'm eating and yeah, all that sort of stuff. So um, it's it's actually been interesting because because I've I lost weight and and now have been hovering, you know, around the 95 was I was hovering around the 95 mark. I didn't have this feeling like I was very big, like I was I'm a size 16, um, and I'm quite comfortable. With that, so um, yeah, I, I don't feel like this massive urge to get put back. You know, like when I started these videos, I was like, you know, do I want to get to eighty? Do I want to get to 
79. Like, what do I want to get to in terms of um, goal weight? But I don't know whether it's just because I've had this hospital admission and a bit of a reality check on what's important in life that I don't. I just don't want to spend the rest of my life obsessed about my weight. So I sort of feel like so long as I can keep under the 100 kilo mark, um, I'm comfort- I think I'm comfortable in my skin, you know? <laughs> no pun intended because there is a lot of loose skin. Um, so, yeah, I'll um, definitely, de- like I said, I definitely need to get back on track in terms of um, not eating rubbish. But, um, I, yeah, anyway. So, um, yeah, look, thank you for those that reached out and um, wanted me to give an update and tell you where I'm at. So, um, haven't completely failed the, the the gastric bypass process. Like, I haven't regained all, you know, 20-odd kilos that I lost. Um, but I do, yeah, really need to be careful, I think, now that I'm like 99.5 kilograms I'm like right there um yeah anyway um the mental health battle continues um on top of the ECT treatment my um psychiatrist here in hospital is contemplating different medications and I just, I'm just trying to go with the flow and, yeah, just do as much as I can to get healthy and mentally well again. So, yeah. Um, just got something in my eye, sorry. I don't mean that in a really, you know, oh, I'm crying. I've got something in my eye. No, I actually do have something in my eye. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um... Yes, I don't really have anything exciting to report. You know, happy 2022. Um, Everyone's going through the same crap with COVID and, um, yeah. So, yeah, that's it, guys. But, um, uh, yeah, look, I can leave it there. I don't even remember how to end a video anymore because I just haven't done this in so long. So, um, look, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing a lot better than I am, actually. Um, would love to hear from you anyway. Um, let me know how you're going. Okay. Thanks all. Bye.